Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org, back with another video for the new Boston. Now, in the user system, we have completed everything and we have sorted out the form validation. Now, there's a few points that we need to address before we continue any further. Let's just go back to our code and have a look, and then we're going to run the web page um, so we can see what the output of uh, everything is. Okay, so at the moment, we have our um, form form here which is actually re-echoing our data that's already been submitted in the form which is fair enough so when the user submits a username let's say Alex um, a password which we're not saving just for security reasons um, and then a first name let's say Alex and then Garrett now what happens if they haven't submitted this data we're just echoing it out as a variable so we're just echoing out username and then we're just echoing out first name and then just surname we're not saying has this data been submitted or not and we also have another issue in uh, let's just open um, core.inc.php we've got this HTTP referrer here now obviously the HTTP referrer is going to give us the page that we were referred from so therefore if we were to open up um, our page and we were to go over to the register.php file register.php you can see that we are given a variety of errors now the error at the top is to do the HTTP referrer it gives us an undefined index error an undefined index error and what this means is that we have this variable here equal to an undefined index this has not been defined anywhere because we haven't been referred from anywhere if we had say a link on index.php and we were linking to this register page then we would be able to um, we'd, we'd be able to uh, have a referrer a referrer information would be sent so how do we go and solve this problem well it's quite simple all we need to do is we need to come down a bit and we need to use an if statement to check if this here is already set before we define it so let's just come up here and we'll say if is set much like when we were doing the form validation on the register.php page dollar underscore server and then http referrer so we're doing exactly the same thing we're just saying is it set is it has this been set and we wrap that in the block um, we could also say um, and not empty HTTP referrer just for added peace of mind I guess it's this part here isn't important uh, necessarily but it just means is it set and is it not empty remember we're using the exclamation mark for not then we set the variable so we only set this variable here if we've performed these checks correctly and this block is run so therefore we're not going to receive an undefined index error because we're not setting a variable to something that doesn't exist because these checks up here do the uh, existence check for us so let's go back and refresh okay can you, you can see that that error is uh, gone let's go back to the index page that core is included in as well and you'll see that the error is gone as well so we've solved part of our problem now you've probably noticed back on register.php we've got exactly the same error message we've got here notice undefined variable username in and then it will tell us all of our information this is a PHP error but because we've echoed it out um, let's just go down because we've echoed out in the value um, property of our uh, input type here or our input field it's given it to us um, with its HTML data we've got the same here as well notice undefined variable first name notice undefined variable surname so how do we go about doing this well we say that the exact same process applies to this code here um, then we've just changed uh, this here so what we need to do is we need to say if and then we start a block so the block the, the if the block if the um, condition is true we're ex executing or running rather this block here so if is set um, username echo that and then that's it 
that solved our problem. So if is set username, then echo username. Otherwise, don't. Um, we can put the and doesn't equal it is not empty, but it's not terribly important for now. So let's refresh. And you can see that that's disappeared from there, so we've solved that one. Now let's just go down and correct the others. So we're using inline PHP here, we're saying if, and then we're, oh no, sorry, I've missed the echo there. So we put that echo back in the right place there. Um, and we need to obviously close our block. So again, if is set first name. So the the type of error you, you see, you just need to look at it carefully and think undefined variable. We have an undefined variable. Now, why might it be that we have undefined surname? Just look through your code. Just examine your code and see what's happening. Obviously, we haven't submitted the form, so we've uh, we've created these variables for ourselves to be able to use username password. Now that we're using these this username, first name, and surname, what it's doing is it's grabbing data from posts that hasn't actually been submitted. We're not posting the first name when we just land on register.php, so we need to um, incorporate checks that deal with errors like this because the last thing you want to do is to be uh, is to be dealing with um, or showing these errors to your users. 